Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 18th of May and we'll be able to extend up beyond that with the SNHF Air and Ship Ensembles. Maybe on Saturday's couple weeks, we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And as we're doing this video very late, we'll have a look at as much 12Z. Uh, as we can. Uh, that's a little bit different uh, and only because I'm very late getting this video done. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much everyone for giving up in doing job number two um, today. So well, I've done eight hours on the cold face. I'm back now doing gals weather these blimey. <laughs> Been working down to five. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Right, let's start off then. With hope you're having a lovely Thursday. Let's start off with the latest wind flow map from EarthNoSchool.net. High and dry again today. No change. High pressure dominating from off the Atlantic into western portions of Europe. Central England temperature is now down to 11.3, that's 0.1 degree above 61 to 19.90 average provisional to yesterday to the 7th of May. So despite that very hot opening day to the month, actually we're going to come out the first week very close to average, I think. <coughs> So sorry, everyone. Would be a uh, video or live stream about a car. These are your best upright temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at London today. The red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off a bit below average at the moment. Those upper air temperatures will be lifting up as we go through. The next few days becoming uh, really quite warm actually over the weekend and into next week and staying above average then by the look a bit through into the second half of May. In fact, the ensemble graph gets us into the last week of the month. There's no sign of uh, any particular drop in the upper air temperature. So, um, you know, it looks like we're in for another protracted period of uh, really quite warm weather. And pretty dry as well, precipitation-wise. We see over the next week, 10 days, lots of uh, dry dishes. A little bit more in way of rainfall as we move on towards the uh, last week of the month. But again, that's very excellent range. It's unreliable. So I wouldn't, you know, uh, uh, take that too seriously. And this period just here, about the draft of the 13th of May. Well, uh, that's a showery period. So there might be some heavy downpours, maybe a few uh, thunderstorms uh, then. But uh, overall, again, that is a pretty dry ensemble graph. How often we said that over the past few uh, weeks and months. Uh, temperature anomalies. Next five days, that's 13th of May above average, particularly so for the north. The uh, 6 to 10 day temperature anomaly again significantly above average. And the 10 to 14 day temperature anomalies are also above average, so uh, warmer than average conditions to come. Uh, seven day precipitation anomaly taking us to the 15th of May, drier than average central northern and eastern regions. The 8 to 14 day, no change, saying drier than normal, even if we push on 10 to 16. Well, then perhaps go back slightly closer to average, but I think still we're more or less on the drier side in most places. The prolonged dry spell continues. When will it end? I wonder. Okay, let's start going for chart. Day. So we're going to look at midnight and 6 ed runs as we would usually in 10 40 down. But hang around to the end of the video and we'll see how much 12s that uh, we can uh, fit in. I think get most of it in actually, but other than the e shed. But we'll see how we get on. Right, okay, so uh, UK met Euro run uh, for the midnight run and we've got low pressure coming up from the south. We'll try to come up from the south. On Sunday, so a trough moving northwards up west side of Europe, some money might bring some heavy downpours, maybe a little bit of thunder. Then that gets pushed back south to the Bay of Biscay again as high pressure strengthens to the north. So by the time we get through to the middle of next week, it gets us midnight next Thursday, we're basically back to square one. 1030 millibar area of high pressure dominating the weather over and to north country. We're high and dry. Icon with the uh, big light run again brings that trough up briefly Sunday to Monday. Then it starts getting pushed southwards again as so the high pressure strengthens to the north of Scotland. However, some slightly weaker pressure, I think, with Icon uh, today. So that uh, could bring some further shower conditions for south, the north, though. 
would be mostly dry. Uh, the KMA looking like that again. We've got that to low pressure flirting with south for southwest the Opal next week before getting uh, pushed away by the strengthening high pressure between Iceland and Scotland. So then, uh, second half next week and in towards the following weekend, it's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Maybe a bit of a break after day 10. So the low pressure start bring wet wind weather in off the Atlantic, but that is a very, very, very long way out. And and, uh, I wouldn't take that particularly seriously. And then what about the GFS big bite run? Well, all much of a muchness as we're uh, looking at Sunday and into Monday, that trough down to the south. It gets pushed away by this strengthening high bow uh, as we go through into the middle next week. Oh, we're looking at a lot of dry weather there and increasingly warm, I think, as we go through next week under that ridge of high pressure. In fact, even beyond day 10, we're a long way out now, 20th of May, but still this big ridge here in the northwest Europe spring up and very warm air from the south. Eventually, layer pressure starts to break through into uh, the closing days of GFS Midnight Road. Gets 24th of May with some showery conditions just starting heading from off the Atlantic. That's a long way off. GFS FS6 said, well, again, we've got that low pressure flirting to the south to southwest on Sunday. Could bring some heavy downpours into the south and southwest early next week. But I don't think they're going to last very long. High pressure really strengthens again through the north and west. Europe. Check that out. That's where we get through to Saturday, 17th of May. Week on Saturday, 1,035 millibar area of high pressure sitting over the country. Really seeing that high pressure strengthening and dominating. But drought goes on there uh, with a GFS 6 m Again, as with the midnight run, uh, very extended range, 22nd of May, we start to break down the high pressure. Lower pressure begins to edge in from off the Atlantic. So it turns cooler and more unsettled into the last week up above. But I have to emphasise again, long way out, and I wouldn't be at all confident about that verifying. If you're enjoying the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know. Go think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about that as well as get to subscribe too. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. About 40 subscribers, 4-0 gets us to 90.7k. So you could give us a sub. That'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. And you could consider a donate, a donate to Gowsworth. This will be very helpful uh, as well. So if it's Gowsworth's PayPal page, come to this page, sign into your PayPal account, donate whatever you like to Gowsworth and we will give you a shout out in videos. You might want uh, a mention for your business, for your uh, website, for your YouTube channel, you know, whatever, whatever plug you want, uh, we can uh, provide. Gab can uh, fulfill your every need and desire. Oh, matrix. Um, no, thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. Uh, it's able to pay for the channel, of course. Right, GM, again, with high pressure over out of the East Country, uh, with this uh, trough down southwest on Sunday. So, early next week, does look a bit showery, especially so for the south west. Could be some downpours, maybe even a bit of thunder, but not lasting long. By the middle of next week, high pressure strengthening over the country. And then we're high and dry then as we go through into the uh, next weekend. So, this gets us to Saturday the 17th, Sunday 18th of May. And this big area of high pressure continuing to uh, dominate at 1,030 millibars. Absolutely remarkable the persistence of the high pressure at the moment, isn't it? And then uh, the ECM rounding. Is this to do with the SSW? I think it might be due about sun stratospheric warming event that we had, you know, uh, uh, back in March. I've got a feeling that he is producing persistent mid-latitude ridging rather than, like, northern blocking. It's producing uh, mid-latitude uh, blocking this time. I, th I think that's what it is, but, you know, it might not be that, but that that's my suspicion. Let me know in the comments what you think is causing it. This persistence of high pressure. Right, ECM. And again, we've got high pressure again. How many times have I said high pressure? Ka ching Break it. Ka-ching! Ka-ching! Every time I say high pressure, I'll be a rich man. Um, no, ECM with high pressure over to the East Country on Sunday. Chop down to the south. That could bring some heavy downpours. Early next week, maybe in some longer spells of fungi rain to the south and southwest Sunday to Monday. That'll be very helpful for the gardens, of course. But by the middle of next week, well, the high pressure is back strengthening again. So check that out. That's the end of next week under a large area of high pressure. And that high pressure keeps on going. 
to 1,030 millibars to uh, day 10 there, 18th of May. And even beyond that, the ECM is not taking that high pressure anywhere uh, far. So uh, we're getting to the end of the ECM run. And absolutely extraordinary how persistent this high pressure is, 1,025 uh, millibars on Friday 23rd of May, uh, which is 360 hours away. Goodness gracious me. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Temecha.com up to day 10. Income most showers and downpours into far south and southwest over the weekend. Uh, but not making much further northwards than the M4, to be honest. And then they kind of get pushed away through uh, next week. And then that's it, really. Uh, up to day 10, uh, looking dry then. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Oh, hang on. I've got that wrong. I'm showing you April. I thought that looked a bit strange. Uh, no, let's do that again. Bees have your top table within the ECM ensembles today. Nice save. Yeah, nice save. <laughs> uh, bees have your top table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the, from the Icelandic Med Top. It gets us to the 18th of May. So 23 members of the ECM ensembles showing high pressure and dominating weather through the Atlantic to North, Northwest Europe. That looks more like it, doesn't it? 17 with high pressure between Iceland and Scandinavia. Again, winds in from the east, both dry and warm, and 11 with high pressure from the Atlantic into Russia. They're all high pressure dominated them at day 10. And then, in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 23rd of May. 26 members of the ECM ensembles with that high pressure right over top of the country. 25 taking the high pressure out to the west. Has some sort of trough to the northeast and winds in from more of a, more of a north westerly direction. That could be a little bit cooler and a little bit more showery as well. Now, 50-50 weather, uh, it, high pressure goes on to two weeks out. But certainly day 10, high pressure is dominant. Uh, right, CFSB2, these are 500 millibar high tons, break it down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 8th to 14th of May. Next week sees high pressure dominating through the north and the west of York. Week 2 will be the 15th to the 21st of May. High pressure back in control. Uh, Scandinavia winds coming in from the east or from the southeast. Mostly dry and warm or very warm. Week 3 will be the 22nd to 28th of May. High pressure begins to slip eastwards. Low pressure down to south and southwest. That could be slightly more mixed. And then week 4. Four is the 29th of May to the 4th of June with low pressure starting to move in from off the Atlantic, beginning to turn uh, rather more showery and somewhat unsettled then, perhaps. So signs will change from the end of May into early June, but before then, high pressure goes on. Right, as we're so late, 20 past 6, blimey. <laughs> Let's have a look then. So sorry it's late, everyone. I've been doing job number 2 uh, today. 9 to 5. So, Let's have a look at the 12Z then. No, I think we've got all of it except the ECM. Quick to go through this so we get wrapped up. It's an amazing video. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, maybe we should, we'll do more late, you know, we're on 9 to 5. We'll do more late, late videos, won't we? Um, right, okay. So, uh, here we go. UK Met Euro Run. Okay, we've got that trough down to the south. This is all 12Z. Um, just updated. Trough down to the south, southwest, Sunday to Monday. Then high pressure uh, strengthened through the country. So, same old, same old with the uh, UK Met by Bill next week. We're back to dry, warm weather. Icon 12Z, 12Z, looks like that. Low, low pressure again. Bring some heavy showers and downpours through the through sunny to Monday. Um, and again, weak with pressure. Icon's a bit different, isn't it, to some of the other model output. Definitely weak with the pressure for next week. Therefore, cooler and also potentially a bit wetter. I wouldn't necessarily say particularly wet, but certainly more showery anyway with uh, Icon. Now, it ha won't have a KMA, so that's also the other model that we won't be able to show you with this. Uh, we KMA trials there. That won't be updating till getting on for eight. So let's go on to the GFS. If you have enjoyed this um, uh, 10 to 14 day, please can you give us a like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Make sure you everyone doing that and tell your friends as well. Uh, right, uh, so uh, GFS, once more, trough low to south southwest on Sunday. That brings some heavy downpours with it. Then high pressure strengthening through West Europe through next week. Mostly dry and increasingly uh, warm 
there and check out that high pressure moving up towards day 10. High, dry, uh, do, uh, you know, weather dominating. Um, we move on though into the extended period, and of course, it's our Tony Moore and Setum. So, a uh, third week of May turns cooler and also wetter courtesy of that area of low pressure. So the GFS is still going for a change, cooler and more unsettled weather, but it's beyond day 10, and so therefore unreliable. And then I think the last one we can show you, the 12Z, will be uh, the GM. And again, a uh, trough brings some heavy downpours to the south southwest on Sunday into Monday, then high pressure strengthening through the west of Europe, through the middle of next week, mostly dry, and warm and or and or very warm uh, through that period and then we move on up towards day 10 well perhaps just signs by day 10 of a slight weakening the pressure again by the 18th May day 10 to both the south and also to the west might start to um, a little bit more showery <coughs> No, overall, so sorry, everyone. Overall, uh, I think we're looking at more protracted, dry, anticyclonic weather into the second half of May. But as ever, we shall see, and time will tell. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell friends about Gals World. Get to subscribe too. And drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing about 16 minute videos. Cram all that in. Not bad going, Matt, was it? Well done, Gal. <laughs> it's say so myself. Right, okay, that's it for today's videos then. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have a 6M UK weather forecast. Jamie, Friday, and the 10th of all day. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening or whenever or whenever you're watching the video. And bye for now.